What's up, guys, and good morning. For if you are a uh, new subscriber checking out my channel, thanks for stopping in. Thanks for checking it out. Returning subscribers, super subscribers, thanks for coming back, checking out the channel. Um, today's our last day down here in uh, Sabang, Porta Galera. Today's a special day for me. Uh, I'm right now, I'm here at, let me flip around, I'll show you exactly where I'm at. We are down in Big La Laguna, which is still Sabang, Porta Galera. Uh, this area here, I did a video of this area here. It's a nice area, it's a relaxing area, it's a peaceful area uh, to walk over to where we're at. Uh, the, you know, the Sabang downtown area takes about 15 20 minutes, but these are resorts through here, dive resorts, and there's a few restaurants, but it's more peaceful over here. It's quiet over here. The beach is really nice over here. Um, this is where I'm at. Why am I, at, why am I over in this area? Uh, like I said, today, today is, to me, it's like a special day. Um, you know, you, you always have people that inspire you to do things in life. Uh, whether it's move to the Philippines, get married, uh, go skydiving, um, get your driver's license. You know, there's just people that inspire you to do things. And, you know, there were certain people that inspired me to get out there and start scuba diving. It's, it was always on my things of wanting to do, uh, but you always had the list of things of wanting to do that you just kind of never do. And then there's some that you do do. Uh, so anyways, one of the people that inspired me uh, to go out and you know, get our open water certification, do some diving, is down here right now visiting. And we hooked up the other day and just talked and hung out. But this morning we're going to go out and uh, we're going to do a dive this morning. And uh, some of you guys know the person. Some of you guys, I've mentioned him in the past. And uh, some of you people might not know him. But uh, I'm going to introduce you to him. And uh, like I said, today today to me is just a special day. And I'm going, let's not going. Uh, but yeah, we're uh, I'm going to have a good time. I know I am. All right, guys, before I introduce you to uh, the guy that inspired me, before I introduce you, you know what? We're going to get in. We're going to do a dive, and uh, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. So, you guys, enjoy the dive. Enjoy the film. Enjoy the sea creatures. When we're done doing the sea creature dive, I will introduce you to one of the men that subsisted. Uh, uh, um, encouraged me, motivated me, and inspired me to uh, get into diving. So enjoy the video. Guys, I'm going to introduce you to one of the guys that inspired me to get in the water and do some diving. Like I said, some of you guys might know him, some of you might not know him, but here he is the man, the myth, the legend, the king of muck dives, Critter Hunter. 
<laughs> Justin's his name. Critter Hunter is his YouTube channel. Critter, like I said. Critter is on my birth certificate as well. It is? Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Justin Critter. <laughs> but, yeah, we, uh, as you see, we went out. We had a good time out there diving. It was great to dive with him. Um, tell my subscribers a little bit about, like, your dive history, why you got into it, uh, how long you've been diving, your favorite place that you've dived. Well, I got into diving, and well, I was a travel writer, so I was traveling the world, and somebody said, oh, you'll never be a real true blue traveler if you don't dive, because you have to explore the ocean. So one day I was in uh, Mozambique, southern Africa, and I got certified, like you guys just did, and this is like 2010, and they were right, I just got addicted, so on every trip, if it was a dive location, I started diving. And then my writing, travel writing, turned into writing about scuba. So it just went off from there. I ended up, after a few years, I spent like a, a year in Egypt doing a dive master and learning underwater videography. And uh, just went from there. Traveled all over the world, uh, making videos and photos and writing. And then I, I got sick of writing. I sold my business and started video, started a YouTube channel. There you go. And then the pandemic happened, and I couldn't scuba <laughs> dive. So right, right. <laughs> so what, what's your what was your favorite place to like dive in all your areas? The Philippines and then Indonesia. Yeah. Uh, I lo we're in the Coral Triangle, which has the most biodiversity. I don't like. Well, you know this, but I don't like just diving for relaxation. I like the species, the rare, like. I grew up in Colorado, and you see National Geographic with flamboyant cuttlefish and wonderpus. It's crazy the stuff I never thought I would see. So in my mind, I had a massive bucket list for species. Uh, and here in the Coral Triangle, this is the epicenter of biodiversity on the entire planet. So you got Philippines, Indonesia, East Timor, Malaysia, uh, Solomon Islands, Papua New Guinea. But Philippines, especially this area where in Puerto Galera, Analyze this bay, they say this is the epicenter of the Coral Triangle. So we're the epicenter of the epicenter of all bio, underwater biodiversity on the whole planet. That, that we know about. Uh, so for me, it's all about rare, to me, rare right, species. Right, right, right. What, uh, any advice to anybody that's thinking about getting out there and diving and trying it? Just trying it. Yeah. I mean... People are scared of new things or change or whatever. But once I did it, it literally changed my life. You're you're addicted now as well. Yeah, yeah, I'm addicted. I mean, it's not an age thing. Uh, I have a little apprentice. She's 14. Yep. She just did her advanced and a lot of specialities. Uh, it doesn't matter what age. If you just try it, even, uh, I don't know if you do this, but even if you... All dive masters and instructors, they can take you on a Discover scuba dive, like try right. dive, where they take you through the gear, take you in the pool, make sure you're okay, you're not too claustrophobic, and then they'll take you in the ocean if you're still okay. And even that, that's pit, that's $20, I don't know. Right, right. It can change your life. Yeah, and yeah. And then it just goes from there. Right. Videography, photos, it doesn't matter. Like, it, What about your book you just did? Yeah, I just, thanks <laughs> I just, uh, I'm based in Dowin, so that's probably my favorite spot yeah. in Philippines. Um, but I just, with my dive partner, I, I, we, we published a book all about nudibranch of Dowin. So the last species survey they did, they brought a whole University of California, uh, scientific whatever, and they found 40 species of nudibranch in my area, Dowin. Negros Oriental, and me and my dive buddy, we found over almost 320 species. So that's what our book's about. Available on? It's only on Amazon right now. Available only on Amazon. <laughs> if you guys are uh, nudie, nudie nerds. Nudie nerds, yeah. This is the book. Yeah. All right. Thank you, buddy. Thanks, it's good Justin. diving with you, yeah, man. Yeah. I'd like to show you my uh, what I do every day. It's not reef. It's not beautiful right. dives. It's like your face... It could be the ugliest dive ever. We'll find some of the rarest species ever. Right. You were like, what the hell is that? I don't even... Yeah, it was great. It was... We had a good time. I watched him, seeing what he was filming, and uh, he showed me some pretty cool stuff. So, Oh, and we cannot forget his lovely wife. Judea. Judea. 
who's hiding over here. Here's his lovely wife, Judea. I'm the nudie hunter. Yeah, she's a nudie hunter. So, all right, guys. Um, you know what? I'm down here at Scandy right now, Scandy Dive Resort, and uh, I'm gonna do a quick walk through here and show you the the dive resort here. Uh, for those that come down and want just a different option, um, it's really nice, really nice. All right, guys, this is Scandy Divers. This is on Big La, La Laguna, Big La Laguna area. I did a video on this earlier in the week. Um, this area here is different than over in Sabang. It's quiet here, as you can see. It's quiet. You can walk out. You can snorkel here. It's great for snorkeling. Um, the speedboats actually come directly into this area here, drop you off. Um, very peaceful. If you don't want to be bothered with anybody and the loudness and you still like to dive, this is nice here. Hello. Hi, hi. They have all the equipment for rental here. Um, if you have your own, you bring your own. But like I said, it's quiet. It's very peaceful, very relaxing. I wouldn't mind staying over here. Uh, they have a kitchen area here. Up that way is your reception area. Uh, let me walk up here quick. They have a couple balconies up here that you can hang out on and just gaze out into the ocean. Like you can think over here. <laughs> you can think. Uh, here's another deck. If you want to sit up here, hang out. Full kitchen in here. Uh, they even have a swimming pool. But Scandy Divers. I know I have subscribers that said that they have stayed here at Scandy Divers. So, just showing you what uh, that it's open, and like I said, just giving people a different option of where they could stay. I do recommend this place. It is, it is nice. Here's the third floor, another area here. You got a bar area over there. Let me step out here quick. Give you a pan through. You can see bar area, seating area. Eating area, hangout area. Uh, DJI. Yeah. DJI. Yeah. But here's your view from up here. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that just amazing? So. Come on, flip. Flip, flip. There you go. All right. Uh, I think I'm going to go check out a room. I think they said they'd open up a room and just give you an idea what the rooms look like here. All right, guys, this is the, one of their small beach cottages. It's for couples. Just I'm not going to step in because I don't want to take my chinelas off. But this is it. Comes with a little refrigerator, air con, place to hang your clothes, a bed. Hey, man, this is for the a CR beach front guys. Yeah. Let me step in here quick, show you the CR. CR, hot water, cold water. But what's nice is, look, check it out. You got a nice little area you can sit right out here and just enjoy the view. And this is their tiki bar area over here. This is kind of away from the Scandi Diver where, the, where, where we were just at. They own another area here. I mean, it's walking distance, you know, minute you're here. But this is their little tiki bar here. Pretty nice. And once again, they have seating right here. You can sit out here and just relax. All right, guys, this is the penthouse here, the penthouse suite. Very large inside, very big inside. It's got sliding doors, curtains. You can open them up, gaze out into the uh, beautiful sea. Air con up there fan up top it's very nice big tv not a very big tv but a tv uh stand to put your coffee maker on uh to the right is a big area to put your clothes in tiny little refrigerator down there uh there's your cr straight ahead big walk-in shower i know it's dark i don't want to turn a light on uh, but yeah, very nice. Once again, the main attraction is your view. I mean, there's your view. Can't beat this view. Um, let me spin this around. 
I just talked to her and she said they're pretty full here. So they are, people are coming down, people are staying down here, uh, booking it down here. And like I said before, this area, uh, Big La Laguna, it's a very peaceful, relaxing area compared to over in Sabang. Over in Sabang, it's busy, there's a lot going on. Um, but yes, very nice. If you want any information on Scandi Divers, I will put the link down below. You can go on their website, do your own research, do your own homework, find out how much the rooms are per night. Um, of course, you stay longer, you're going to get a better deal. Um, but you can do your own research. But I do recommend this area here, you know, even if you don't dive, just to come and hang out. Very peaceful. So, anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap this one up. We got to get back. We got to uh, start packing up our stuff. Say goodbye to some friends that we know down here. Uh, go grab something to eat one more time. Uh, and uh, tomorrow morning, we are out of here. So, once again, you know what? Thanks. Thank you to all those that have followed me and our our journey down here in Sabang for this past month. Um, this is our life. This is what we do. We share it with you guys. Um, places we go, people we see, things we do. Uh, it's our life. Uh, if you're looking for a specialty, uh, what's the old saying? A jack of all trades, but a master at none, I guess. That's my channel. A jack of all trades. A jack of everything around here in the Philippines. So, All right, guys. Uh, I still got to do a wrap-up video. That'll be coming up. A wrap-up video, my thoughts and everything down here. So, all right, guys. Once again, thank you, and uh, we'll talk to you later.